Oh, check out this goofball. Crying Brian Tahara. Check out his eyes in the booking shot. He's uh, uh, he's lovesick. He's been stalking his girlfriend, uh, allegedly. And threatening to kill her and kill the family and stuff. Oh, what a knucklehead. Allegedly. Clearwater police officer accused of stalking girlfriend. Oh, crying Brian. Oh. Let's see what we got here. A Clearwater police officer was on administrative leave after he was arrested for aggravated stalking in Pasco County. According to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, Brian Tejera is accused of sending threatening written and video messages to his girlfriend and her family members. Oh, the video messages must be now. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> With his little Betty Crocker hairdo. This is a disturbing allegation, said Police Chief Eric Gamby. We immediately initiated an internal investigation and placed him on administrative leave. Tahara has been with Clearwater Police since 2007. Oh, that's a long time, Tahara. In 2021, Tahara was arrested in Tarpon Springs on DUI charges after police said he smelled of alcohol, was unsteady on his feet, and got aggressive after they pulled him over for driving erratically. Ooh, I'm a cop! Hilarious. What a knucklehead. Okay. There's a little video with little Tahara. And his hair is all grown out. I bet the minute he gets out of jail, he's going to go get his hair cut. <laughs> Clearwater police officer Brian Tahara, a $50,000 bond. He is being charged with stalking his girlfriend and her family. Prosecutors told a Pasco County judge that an alleged victim is in fear after 40 year old Clearwater police officer Brian Tahara sent her several alarming messages. Mr. Tahara, I'm going to say your bond is $50,000. Court documents state that for nearly two weeks, Tahara sent the victim hundreds of texts, voicemails, and video chats. And in footage viewed by police, Tahara allegedly told the victim he would track her down, shoot her in the head, and then come after her family. Court documents state Tahara admitted to making those threats. The victim told police she believed he would carry out those threats as he is familiar with her whereabouts and possesses numerous firearms. A judge ordered Tahara have no contact with the victim and also ordered he not be in possession of firearms while out on bond. I do not have any direct or indirect contact with the alleged victim. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is investigating the aggravated stalking case, but in a statement, Clearwater Police Chief Eric Gandy called the allegations disturbing and said in part, quote, we immediately initiated an internal investigation and placed him on administrative leave. Oh, you get to keep your money flowing in and we're going to let you resign so you can just skip on over to the next county. They go into cop protection mode. Ah, oh, what a loser. Total loser. <laughs>